Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I am going to show you one of the best chess game ever. Best chess game of Gary Kasparov and Gary Kasparov used to be one of the best chess player of all time. So I believe that you will enjoy this amazing chess game. White is Gary Kasparov and black is Nigel Short. We are following French defense and this game was played on 1994 in Amsterdam. French defense is a typical, typical solid chess opening where white is enjoying space advantage and black is suffering sometimes with his bad light squares bishop who is locked behind this pawn formation. So the most important square here is the square d4 and both players will do their best to take control over this d4 square. So for this reason bishop e3 and this exchange make a sense for both players. Still black is following attack to everything what is on d4 and yes uh, white is going to take care about this knight short castle and a long castle and now because we are watching opposite castle position this game is getting to be more exciting so gary kasparov used to be one of the strongest attacker of course, maybe the strongest was Michal Tal, but at this time Gary Kasparov used to be monster in attack and he will attack Black King. So a6 and now he played move h4. That's a nice move. That's not, that's not only attacking move like you are going to play move h5 or h6, but at the other side this rook is going to be played anywhere on the third rank. So now black decided to change one minor piece and he played move b5. Of course, if white is playing move h4, black is playing move b5 and b4 is a threat. Okay, uh, rook h3, b4 and knight a4. This dark squares bishop is under attack and black is going to decide to exchange this dark squares. Okay, maybe this is not the best answer, but maybe this is only one answer. I believe that bishop e7 is too passive and after this exchange, what's uh, important that this knight sitting on the edge one day we'll go to b6 and that's a threat. Maybe now it's not visible, but in future we will see that this is a deadly threat to black's position. Maybe the best move here is to play move a5. Why not to take care about this pawn? And I think that this game should follow something like h5. Bishop h6 makes sense for black to exchange his bad light squares bishop. And maybe here white is, is it's better, but how much I don't know. Even here I pr prefer to play this position for white. But that was only variation and let's come back because we are going to watch much more exciting position. So, um, and we saw last time before knight a4 and this exchange and of course uh, knight b6 is a threat but not now, f6 happened and black believe that this pawn is poison pawn because just imagine that uh, white is taking this pawn and Gary took this pawn uh, here it will be open b file against white's king maybe this um, all black pieces are going to attack uh, black's uh, white's king <laughs> white's king of course and uh, that's a danger to take this pawn at the other side of course uh, Black is playing in the center, so all the center moves used to be stronger than sidelines moves. So maybe it looks like that Black is playing a good move in a good position, but Gary Kasparov is great. And since now till end, he will play the best moves without any mistakes and Black will be without any chance. That's nice to see game where 
somebody is able to play without mistake. That's maybe motivation or inspiration to us to be better and better chess player. And I believe, and I really do believe, that is good, good uh, way to improve our chess to study Gary Kasparov's games. So okay, now Black took pawn back. And queen d6, that's a nice queen. This queen is doing a terrific job on d6. It's attacking e6 and this is important pawn. It's attacking uh, e5 and maybe somehow it's attacking, of course, um, d5 squares. So all centers, black pawns are under attack and this queen is doing amazing job. So remember that our queen has to do a great job. If our queen is doing a good job, we are playing good game. Queen f6 and f5. Extra, extra marks because this is a beautiful move. And why? I'm going to show you why this move is excellent. So maybe the first question is, why is not possible to take this pawn by a queen? What's wrong with this move? And okay, let's watch first variation. Black should take this pawn on f5, but here is rook f3 and uh, what's the problem is problem here. After this exchange, knight b6 is a threat and hopefully you remember that I told you that this knight is a danger knight and how to save this rook and this bishop and looks like this is a mission impossible. Maybe check, make a sense, but at the end uh, Black has to lose the exchange and here Gary Kasparov will win this game without any difficulties. So we know a first answer to our question. Uh, why Black should not take pawn on f5 by a queen? Okay, why Black should not take the pawn by a pawn? Because of check on d5 and that's not only check, that's a fork to rook. That's the reason why a five move used to be amazing move. Okay, Black found it um, nice answer, check on h6 and now um, he took by rook. So why? Now we could believe that uh, Black is forced because uh, White played rook f3. And after this exchange, let's compare black pieces and white pieces. You know, um, where is the black army? What do you think is uh, doing these three black pieces? They are passive and only one, say maybe active queen, it's not enough to play chess against Gary Kasparov. So that's the lesson to us. If you are, if you are looking to be better chess player, if you are looking for chess improvements, never ever has such a bad pieces. That's important because bad piece mean bad game and bad game sometimes mean a bad player. And I hope that you are enjoying this video and you are still watching. So if yes, feel free and press like or press follow and follow and follow and follow my YouTube chess channel. Thank you very much and let's come back because uh, black played queen f6 and of course, where is the biggest black weakness? The biggest black weakness is this pawn. So let's attack this weakness and let's be much more aggressive. Bishop h3 happened and yes, of course, one more time. Knight f8, it's too passive and too weak because of knight b6. And here the same threat to f attack two black pieces and one of them is lost. So uh, black maybe is not happy to play king f7, but nevertheless c4, exchange and knight c3. Now this knight is not doing the best job because there is no way or no hope to go to b6 or uh, c5. So white decided to go to c3 and e4 and g5. That's a good work and that's a good plan for white knight. Uh, believe me that the best chess plan, if you don't know what to play, is to find your worst 
placed piece and to improve your worst placed piece. So now knight on a4 is the worst and of course Garry Kasparov is playing best chess. So why not to follow his ideas and why not to improve our worst? placed piece. Knight c3 makes sense and okay, uh, white is not interesting to exchange his queen, of course. That's not make a sense to exchange queens if you are attacking a black king. So queen e6, 6 with a tempo and this rook is under attack and now knight e4 and knight g5 and here queen e4 and one more time and maybe for the last time just go and Let's see the difference between white pieces and black pieces and without any doubt black is lost because white is everywhere better and stronger. And of course here is a big threat checkmate on h7 so g6 happened, one pawn is falling down, this rook is one more time under attack, so rook b7 make a sense and rook d6 and this pawn it's under heavy attack and uh, I have the feeling like uh, black's position is falling down and still falling and falling. So how to stop the Gary Kasparov and believe me that it was nearly impossible at this time to stop the Gary Kasparov because he was great and he played amazing chess. So c3 happened but uh, there is nothing to be changed and here Nigel Short resigned after a amazing chess game of Gary Kasparov. So I believe and I do believe that you enjoyed this beautiful game of Gary Kasparov and if you could just learn from Gary Kasparov because he is one of the greatest chess player ever. And if you can follow my YouTube chess channel and be my follower, you will see that it will make a sense. So at the end of this video let me thank you very much for your time, likes and maybe your follows. So I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Take care, see you soon and bye bye.